A series of gigantic yet eerily faint plasma loops temporarily rose above our home star's surface after a powerful solar flare exploded from the sun on Monday in stunning new photos show. These loops linger like ghostly echoes of the departed solar storm, but scientists still don't know exactly how the ethereal remnants take shape. In this video, we will explore this fascinating phenomenon of solar storms and the mysterious post-flare loops that they leave behind. We will use the latest photos and videos to show you the stunning beauty and power of the sun. We will also explain the science behind these events and why they are important for our understanding of the sun and its activity. So, buckle up and get ready for a journey to the heart of our star. On Monday, January 29th, 2024, the sun unleashed a massive solar flare, the largest one recorded in the past decade. A solar flare is a sudden burst of intense radiation and magnetic energy that occurs when the sun's magnetic field becomes twisted and unstable. The solar flare was classified as an X-class flare, the most powerful category of flares, and it lasted for about 15 minutes. The flare was so bright that it was visible to the naked eye from Earth, even though it occurred on the far side of the sun. But that was not all. The solar flare also triggered a coronal mass ejection, or CME, which is a huge cloud of plasma and magnetic field that is ejected from the sun at high speed. The CME was estimated to be about 10 times the size of Earth, and it traveled at about 2,000 kilometers per second. The CME was directed away from Earth, but it still had some effects on our planet. It disturbed the Earth's magnetic field, causing geomagnetic storms that can interfere with satellites, power grids, and communication systems. It also enhanced the solar wind, which is a stream of charged particles that flows from the sun. The solar wind interacted with the Earth's atmosphere, creating beautiful auroras or northern lights that were visible in many parts of the world. One of the most stunning images of the solar storm was captured by Eduardo Schaberger Pupo, an amateur astrophotographer from Argentina. He used a special telescope and camera to snap a picture of the faint plasma loops towering above the solar surface, right where the CME had exploded from. The loops are known as post-flare loops, and they are the remnants of the plasma that was ejected into space as a CME. The post-flare loops are much cooler and dimmer than the surrounding sun, which makes them hard to see. But Pupo's photo shows them in great detail and contrast, revealing their shape and structure. The photo is a rare and remarkable glimpse of the sun's aftermath. As mentioned, after the solar flare and the CME, something else happened on the sun that caught the attention of scientists and observers. On the sun's surface, where the flare originated, there appeared some faint and twisted loops of plasma that seemed to hang in the air. These post-flare loops, and they are the remnants of the plasma that was ejected into space as a CME. The post-flare loops are much cooler and dimmer than the surrounding sun, which makes them hard to see. They are also very stable and can last for hours or even days after the flare. But how do these loops form and why do they persist for so long? This is a question that scientists are still trying to answer. One possible explanation is that the post-flare loops are the result of magnetic reconnection, which is a process that occurs when the sun's magnetic field lines break and reconnect in a different way. This can release a lot of energy and heat, creating the flare and the CME, but it can also create new magnetic loops that trap some of the plasma that was not ejected. These loops then cool down and become the post-flare loops that we see. Another possible explanation is that the, they are the result of chromospheric evaporation, which is a process that occurs when the sun's lower atmosphere, called the chromosphere, is heated by the flare and expands into the upper atmosphere, called the corona. This can create a surge of plasma that fills the magnetic loops that were already present before the flare. These loops then become the post-flare loops that we see. Both of these explanations are plausible, but they are not conclusive. Scientists need more observations and simulations to test and refine their theories. The post-flare loops are a fascinating puzzle that challenges our understanding of the sun and its dynamics. The solar storm and the post-flare loops that occurred on January 29, 2024 
are not only spectacular to watch, but also significant and relevant for our knowledge and future. Studying these events can help us to learn more about the Sun and its activity, which is crucial for many reasons. First, the Sun is the source of life and energy for our planet, and it affects our climate and weather in many ways. By understanding how the Sun works and what causes its variations, we can better predict and prepare for its impacts on our environment and society. Second, the Sun is also a source of danger and disruption for our technology and infrastructure, especially in the era of space exploration and digital communication. By understanding how the Sun produces solar storms and how they affect the Earth and its surroundings, we can better protect and improve our satellites, power grids, and communication systems. Third, the Sun is also a source of inspiration and innovation for our science and engineering, especially in the field of nuclear fusion and clean energy. By understanding how the Sun produces and sustains fusion reactions and how it creates and controls plasma and magnetic fields, we can better develop and optimize our own fusion reactors and plasma devices. In short, the Sun is a star that we need to study and respect, as it can both help and harm us in many ways. The solar storm and the post-flare loops that we witnessed are a reminder of the Sun's beauty and power, and a motivation for us to explore and learn more about it. In this video, we have seen the amazing phenomenon of the solar storm and the post-flare loops that occurred on January 29, 2024. We hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you have learned something new and interesting about the sun and its spectacular show. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to share them below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you next time.